All right, folks, Tim here at Doc's Autos. Welcome back. And we are working on the 1952 Chevy Style Line. We've got our little helper, and we'll be back after a word from our sponsor. All righty, we are back, and you saw that correctly. Our sponsors are My Wallet and Unicorn Farts. And both are running a little low. What? Turn your trike around? Hold on. All right. Come on. Here we go. Zoom. Uh-oh. There you go. Off into the sunset, or at least the other side of the garage. Farts. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button below if you have not, the notification bells to make sure you get notified as soon as we post new videos. And of course, like this and share it on your social media accounts. So we are back on the 52 and we left off. I was trying to get off some of this trim here and this was being rather troublesome. And I did some looking around online and I found at least the windshield trim uh, is uh, combined with taking out the windshield. Uh, I don't know that I'm ready to do that yet, but hopefully this back piece of trim I can still get off. Uh, this trim of course is in with the gasketing for the rear window that is staying in for right now. So I think the rest of my plan here for right now is get off the rest of these uh, pieces of shiny stuff, the other light, bumper, work my way around the rest of this door trim here. Uh, maybe I'll take off this uh, wind visor, the uh, front bumper, the grill, that's seen better days, uh, this front emblem, and then the hood ornament up here. And this hood actually is two pieces. And if you look under here, uh, kind of dark, but there's a couple of bolts to get off this emblem right here. Uh, but the hood, here's your center line uh, where the two pieces are bolted together. Uh, but the hood ornament is held on by a couple of bolts right here. So I should be able to get this out, hopefully without too much uh, difficulty or disrupting the, the hood itself. So. We're gonna go ahead and uh, have our little helper see if we can get something done. You wanna wave? Hi. All right, let's get to it. All right, I clearly need more lighting in here. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe to our Patreon account listed below in the description and uh, maybe we can afford some better lights. Should just be a pair of three eighths nuts on here. All right, let's see if we can't lift this up a little bit. That is off. Well, that doesn't look too bad. Dirty, but a little bit of surface for us, but nothing we can't get around. Go ahead and put these parts back on so I don't lose them, and we'll work around to the hood. All right, we've got this guy to work on next here. We've got actually four uh, four of the square nuts behind here to come off. And if I stop kicking the tripod, all right, we'll get these couple of square nuts off. And no, I don't actually have any square drivers, so feel free to uh, flame me for not having the right tool. So we go back to the trusty old Leatherman. We got our four little nuts off and there's our front emblem. So we are gonna go, uh, we'll come back, uh, look at working on this hood ornament uh, next. Alrighty, we're gonna move on to the hood ornament here next. And uh, 
underneath here, if you can see, get my light on, there's just one here, a little bolt here, nut, and then up under here, there's one. So that should be all that holds on the hood ornament, and let's try and get that off. Again, more square nuts. All right, there we go. Look at that. Now, people have been asking, why am I using a Leatherman or a Gerber, whatever your multi-tool uh, favorite is, versus a pliers? Well, this here is a left-handed Gerber. I'm left-handed, and it's very difficult to find a left-handed pliers. So I'm stuck using this. I mean, it's not the best tool, but if you can find and send me a left-handed pliers, I'd be forever in your debt. So let me know if you can find one. But we've got our hood ornament off. Our other uh, emblem is off the front here. We've got our trunk emblem off, and uh, we're gonna put our, our screws back in here so we don't lose them. And uh, we'll wander around and start working on more of the door trim. I guess as long as we're under here, uh, you know, this does have the, the 216 inline six. Um, once I went through it a little bit, uh, new fuel system, rebuilt the carburetor, um, aside from the float staking, it's been running pretty well. However, uh, leaks from the front seal, leaks from the front seal, uh, pretty much everything that could leak does leak. So that's one of the main reasons I'm gonna be pulling the engine out and doing a rebuild of that. Um, and assuming that goes well, I'm going to put it back in uh, versus, uh, you know, changing it out for a newer uh, V8 or something like that. Um, mainly because it's cool and I don't need 400 horsepower from an LS or an LT swap in here. But when we actually do go to get this redone and painted, um, you know, of course, the rest of the car will be painted already. I'm just going to go ahead and mask off all the fenders. Uh, and everything else so I can just shoot uh, in here but as you see that's going to take a bunch of cleaning to get prepped so that's for another year for now we're going to keep working on that trim alrighty we're going to see what we can do here to get this uh, wind or the sun visor off looks like a couple of uh, chrome nuts here some three eighths maybe here These good old, uh, good old Craftsman tools uh, I got from my grandfather back when I was a kid, probably, <clears throat> I think 15, 16, maybe a little before that. He uh, got my cousin into, mu into uh, music early on in life, and he's made a career out of that. Uh, also got a TV show on now, uh, Nick's Wild Ride. You can check that out on the Outdoor Channel, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, Grandpa got him into music and me into cars, or tools anyways. And uh, this set has carried me through. Well, I've got a lot of tools actually. Uh, but the basic craftsman set he got me, a 250 piece set, um, has lasted me for 25 years. Yeah, 25 years. And uh, I think I'm on my second 10 mil socket from the set. But otherwise, um, been a nice trusty set of tools for me. Let's go ahead and take these caps off. Wow, 
our sun visor slid back on on the window trim. Get you off of there. There we go. He's off. Oh, look at that. Wonderful green color underneath. One point in time, there were some hornet's nests under here. Clean those off. And goop and gunk in here. So I've got on both sides here this, uh, this pair of clips that holds the uh, windscreen on the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these off. Needs to be 9 sixteenths. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off over on the other side and then we'll come back with our next uh, bit of trim. Alrighty, we're gonna go ahead and get this piece of trim off here. Then work around here to our other piece on the front fender. You know, I'm going to assume You know, I'm going to assume there's actually bolts and nuts that hold these on to start with. So, I guess I've got to strip the front doors. All righty. Well, we're going to work on this piece of trim here, and then over the window, over the door window here, and get those off and then work around to the other side. Um, the panel, the trim on the door panels themselves, I have to take off the door cards from the inside because there's some nuts back there. That's just gonna make the whole removal process easier. So we'll focus on these, which are much more simple. So as we've seen before, a lot of these clips come out broken. Uh, some of these actually are still intact. A couple of them broke. So we'll retain what we can for the next uh, reassembly process and move over to the other side. All right, well, we are back here on the passenger side. This piece of trim pretty much damaged. Uh, probably not gonna use it again, but I have at least gotta get it off and this top piece here. Uh, a little piece of trim between the two doors and I'm gonna have to dig how I get this piece off because it does not want to come off easily. And it seems like it's gonna be one that's pretty easy to damage. So let's go ahead and work on these two pieces for right now. Well, we got those pieces off right now, and I think uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get off the grill and then call it uh, for this video. We've gotta take off the uh, door cards for the door trim, and that means I pretty much gotta take the doors off the car, and that's definitely gonna be for the next video. So 
Let's go ahead and see if we can get off that grill. All right, folks, well, our plan uh, for the rest of this video is going to be take the bumpers off, front and back, and grill. Uh, unfortunately, I need the grill <coughs> for the hood mount for the moment. Um, so I can keep going back and forth to the shop for a little while. Um, I'm gonna try and get that off yet here, but the bigger problem is uh, 13 16 wrench for the front and rear bumpers. I don't have one, it is missing. So I'm gonna have to run to the, uh, the tool store to pick one of those up. Uh, so the front and rear bumpers are gonna have to stay on for right now. And I guess we'll just see if we can get off this grill. Um, you know, that's going to be a negative too. These are all pretty well rusted um, and they've got square nuts behind them. So uh, I'm going to put some penetrant on here to soak them in. And I guess that's just going to call it for this episode. Uh, we'll come back in the next video, start off with trying to get these bumpers and the grill off. Uh, maybe take out the headlights and then uh, work on those two front doors to get the uh, door cards and the trim off as well as the trim from the fenders. So that's gonna be it for right now. Um, thanks for watching and don't forget if you have not yet, hit the subscribe button below, the like button, share it with your friends, and we will definitely see you guys in the next video. Bye.